Welcome to the Getting Started Guide for QNECT ODBC for QuickBase. The first step is to download the Windows version by clicking on this button. The download is less than 2 megabytes. Click on it to start running the installer. The installer runs quite rapidly. And now you're done. The installer has created some start menu icons. Click on all programs. Scroll down to the queues, and you'll find QNECT ODBC for QuickBase. You'll see the 32-bit ODBC administrator shortcut as well as the 64-bit administrator shortcut. Now, if somebody else has installed this for you under a different account, which occurs sometimes in corporate environments, you may not see these two shortcuts, in which case you can get there by clicking on the Start menu and then typing ODBC and then you'll find the 64-bit ODBC administrator shortcut as well as the 32-bit administrator shortcut. Let's get started with the 64-bit ODBC administrator panel. The installer has created two DSNs. The first one is on the user DSN tab and is called QuickBase via QNECT user. The second one is on the system DSN tab and is called QuickBase via QNECT 64-bit. In most cases you're going to want to work with system DSNs. So let's configure this one. We're going to click on the configure button and that brings up this dialog. What we're going to need to fill in is the username, the password, or a user token, and we're going to have to replace www with the name of your realm, and then we're also going to go find an application token that's specific to your applications. When you go to log into QuickBase, you type something here in your URL to get there. If you were a car company, you might type ford.quickbase.com. Or if you were a different car company, you might type tesla.quickbase.com. In my case, it's going to be qnect.quickbase.com. So let's go fill that into the QuickBase server property of the ODBC configuration dialog. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, and then I'm going to switch over to the ODBC administrator panel, and I'm going to paste that in right here. Okay, now we need the username. Well, the username is what you type in here. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put that here into the username slot. And then the password is the same thing that I type in here. I'm going to type that in here. Now, with these two pieces of information in, and this third one here, QuickBase Server, I should be able to use the Test Connection button to see if I have things properly configured. And success! Okay, so now let's go get ourselves an application token. This application token is the one that comes with QNECT ODBC for QuickBase, and so everybody knows what it is. I wouldn't recommend using this one. I would recommend creating your own. So let's go do that. Here we are at the uh, My Apps page in QuickBase, and I'm going to configure AAA Project Manager, AAA Project Manager, with an application token. So here I am at the application uh, dashboard. I click on Settings, scroll down to App Properties, click on that, scroll down a little bit till I get to Advanced Settings, and then I click on Manage Application Token. As you can see, there are no application tokens installed in this application, so I'm going to choose the second option here, Create New Application Token. I can type anything I want in this description. I'm going to just type QNECT. Here is my brand new application token. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Once I have an application token on the clipboard, I can install it in other applications. You can go to the My Apps page in QuickBase, and then you can go to the Simple Table application, click on Settings, go down to App Properties, scroll down to Manage Application Token, and here we can say Assign an Existing Application Token, and then I can 
paste it in here, call this one QNECT as well, now I have the same application token in two different applications. So a single application token can service multiple applications. Back at my ODBC DSN configuration dialog, I'm going to paste that same application token right here. That completes the configuration of this DSN. This is a system DSN, uh, and it's obviously for 64-bit applications. You may want to do the same thing and configure this DSN here. Now, there's also the 32-bit ODBC data source administrator. It looks the same as this, and the only way to tell is by looking at the system DSN tab and seeing that you see 64 bits here. In order to get to the 32-bit data source administrator, you're going to have to close this one out. If you don't close this one out and you try to use the shortcut to get to the 32-bit ODBC data source administrator, you'll find that it just brings to the foreground the already open 64-bit ODBC data source administrator. So close this one out, click on the start button, type ODBC, and click on 32-bit ODBC administrator. Now we have the 32-bit ODBC administrator. As you can see, here it says 32-bit for QuickBase via QNECT. And you want to configure these in the same way that we just did the 64-bit one. The dialog, the configuration dialog is identical. As before, you'll want to fill in the username, the password, the QuickBase server, and the application token. That completes the configuration of QNECT ODBC for QuickBase. Please take advantage of the application notes. I would recommend first steps. These have a lot of useful information. And then depending on what you're using in conjunction with QNECT ODBC for QuickBase, you may want to peruse some of these other application notes. Thank you for trying QNECT ODBC for QuickBase. Please don't hesitate to call or write if you have any questions.